Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another effort to clarify the doubts of students about source free or circuit with source or step response circuit. Now, uh, before we start, uh, just repeat the timeline concept. This is t is equal to zero, where we are right now. Anything before that is called t uh, less than zero, so minus one, minus two. And anything that will happen in the future is called t greater than zero. Then, uh, what is a step input? Another confusion. So let's see in this circuit. The switch is open, so there is no supply. Uh, to the circuit, to the R or C, and so we can say that the input is 0 volt. Now if we connect the switch, what will happen? This 5 volt will suddenly be applied to the circuit R and C, and so it will be, be a jump. So from 0, it jumps to 5 volt. So this is like a step as shown here, this is the step, and that is why this type of application of voltage through a switch is called step response. Okay, now let's come on to the problem. Let's say we have this circuit, we don't know whether this is a source free circuit or a step response circuit. This is another circuit. Here also we don't know whether this is a source free circuit or a step response circuit. Okay, now what does this switch say? It says open at t is equal to 0. That means before t is equal to 0 this is closed. And what about this one? This direction of the switch is saying that close at t is equal to 0, that means before t is equal to 0, this is open. So let's see, before t is equal to 0, we are, this is closed because we are opening at t is equal to 0. So before t is equal to 0, we'll say that this is a closed circuit. And uh, we'll discuss later, or I'm sure you know that the capacitor behaves like an open circuit for DC. If it is for long time, we are not talking of the transient time, but if the voltage is applied for long time, then the capacitor gets charged fully and it behaves like an open circuit. Now what will happen in this, this case before t is equal to 0, so this is closing at t is equal to 0, that means before t is equal to 0, this is open. So the circuit will behave or look like this. So this is open before t is equal to 0. Now what will happen at t is equal to 0? At t is equal to 0 or after t is equal to 0 we are opening this switch. So this switch will be opened and so the switch is opened and the circuit will remain in the state what is called transient state for some time and then it will become a steady state. So we are only concerned with the transient state. So we are not opening the capacitor. This is as it is. So this is when uh, at t is equal to 0 when the switch was opened. Okay. And now if you look carefully, at t greater than 0, the capacitor or the energy storage circuit is without any source. So no, this source is no more connected and therefore in this situation we will call this to be a source free circuit. So the key point to determine whether it is a source free or with source is look at t greater than 0. Look at the circuit at t greater than 0. So here there is no source connected and therefore this will be called source free. Now look at this one at t is equal to 0 will close. So at t greater than 0 the switch is closed and therefore we have a source 
supplying to the capacitor and the resistor or to the energy storage circuit. We are primarily concerned with the energy storage circuit that is the capacitor or inductor. So this is now circuit with source or we can also say that this is a step response circuit. So this is at t greater than zero, no source is connected with the capacitor or inductor and therefore this is a source free RC circuit, so this is RNC circuit. So this is source free RC circuit and this is at t greater than zero, a source is connected with the capacitor or inductor, so this source is connected and therefore this will be called circuit with source or we also call it step response circuit. Okay, one or two more example to Okay, so this is the question. Now here the switch is moving from A to B at T is equal to zero. So before T is equal to zero, it is connected with A. So we connected with A and since the DC source is connected for a long time, therefore the capacitor is fully charged and it will behave like an open circuit. And after t is equal to 0, this switch is closed, so this switch comes to B. And now if you see that after t is equal to 0 or when t is greater than 0, this circuit, the induct, uh, capacitor circuit, does not have any source connected with it. This source is disconnected and therefore this is another example of a source-free circuit. Now, let's see the circuit on the right. What it's saying is that this, this switch is initially closed and it is moving or it is opened at t is equal to zero. So before t is equal to zero, this is closed. The switch is closed and the uh, capacitor here will also now behave like an open circuit after it is fully charged. Now, after t greater than zero, what will happen? The switch is open. So the switch is open. But if you look carefully, the energy storage device, that is the capacitor, is still connected with the source. And therefore, this circuit is circuit with source or we can say it is a step response circuit. So this is circuit with source. Okay, so another example, uh, if you look at the circuit, it is moving at t is equal to 0 from A to B, that means it is connected to A before t is equal to 0, so we'll show it like this, that before t is equal to 0 it is connected and the capacitor gets charged through this path and then it behaves like an open circuit. Now at t greater than 0, the switch is moved from A to B, so we'll show it like this. The switch has moved or connected point B, and now this circuit, if you look carefully, does not have any uh, power supply connection with this. So at t is equal to 0, this is a source-free circuit. In the question, it has also been given that this switch is moved to C at t is equal to 1. So at t is equal to 1, we move it to C, but still in this position, the energy storage circuit, that is the capacitor resistor, a capacitor, uh, is not connected with the voltage source, therefore this is a source-free RC circuit. Now, look at this example. The switch is connected to A, and at t is equal to 0, it is moving to B. So before t is equal to 0, it is connected with A and this battery charges the uh, capacitor and the capacitor behaves like an open circuit. Then after t is equal to 0, this switch is moving at this point. Now don't get confused when it is say at moving at t is equal to 0. It is exactly, we can say that at t is equal to 0 plus a few microseconds, so that is why we write t greater than zero. 
so at t greater than 0 it has moved to this position and now if you look at the circuit the energy storage device is still connected with the power source or the battery and therefore this circuit is with source not without source and so this is a circuit with source or it is a step response RC circuit and finally we just uh, for your understanding I am including an RL circuit so inductor here exactly same technique the switch is opened at t is equal to 0 that means before t is equal to 0 it is closed and uh, as you know that the inductor behaves like a short circuit after it has been subjected to DC source for a long time so the inductor uh, the energy storage device behaves like a short circuit so this is the circuit for t less than 0 at t is equal to 0 or t greater than 0 we are opening this so this becomes open circuit and now the inductor circuit or the energy storage circuit is no more connected with any battery source or power source and therefore this is also an example of a source free circuit now one student asked that is it always necessary that we uh, have to close the switch uh, for uh, um, uh, step response or we have to open the switch for step response so let's see this this concept here this switch is closed at t is equal to 0 so before that it is open so t less than 0 the switch is open and this circuit is charging the capacitor so the capacitor will behave like an open circuit now the source is connected still so for connecting the source the switch has no role but what happens is that when at t greater than 0 the switch is closed this actually bypasses the resistor so the resistor is short circuited so the overall circuit condition changes at t greater than 0 and therefore we can say that this is also an example of a step response circuit because at t less than 0 there was some, some kind of supply or some uh, current flowing through this but at uh, t greater than 0 the current flowing through this will be different because this resistance is now out of the circuit so this is an example of circuit resource so I hope this gives or uh, clarifies uh, doubts of some of you that you have about source free circuit and step response circuit